a three-day football tournament organized by the correspondent chapel of the Federal Capital Territory in Abuja for journalists, other professional bodies, government and securities agencies ended on Saturday. A correspondent Jean Francis tells us more, and of course, we'll be back with football tonight. The Federal Road Safety Corps FRSC football team have emerged back to back champions of the Nigeria Union of Journalists FCT Correspondents Chapel Football Tournament Second Edition. The three lead encounters saw the road safety team win the Federal High Court 1 0 in the finals of the competition. To just bring people together for oneness and connection from wherever the Normally, we as workers we stay home uh, every Saturday. But for the past three days, we've been busy engaging, socializing, and meeting people. And it's, it's been a wonderful time. The final match played at the old parade ground at Ten Football Field in Abuja was witnessed by an appreciable crowd of enthusiastic fans, dignitaries, including the national president, Nigeria Union of journalists Chris Isiguzo and all the journalists. It helps to promote physical fitness, mental alertness or sharpness as the case may be, and team spirit. Wellness is very important. I'm always happy when I see a journalist you know, doing the kind of things you know, that uh, make us healthier to be able to uh, you know, carry out our assignments you know, and, and, and duties. This is a very nice tournament. When we started and they brought in Nawood, I said we were going to take the trophy. Whether we have the trophy or not, we have taken the trophy because we have won. Football makes people to forget their differences because it is a unifying factor. It heals the wound and bond people together. It is one of the antidotes for physical fitness and mental health. The tournament may have come to a close, but the event has paved the way for future collaborations, promoting a spirit of camaraderie and teamwork among Nigeria's professional bodies, security agencies and government agencies. Jane Francis Mweze, TVC News, Abuja.